Good morning, beautiful people. It is February 11th, 2013, at 11.14 in the morning. The winds of change are certainly blowing. <laughs> One of my last videos I posted, I said we were in a lull, and it was going to be just before things really, really sped up, and today, boy, have they. <laughs> I woke this morning and came to sit down and drink my coffee right here and open the blinds and looked outside and had two morning doves sitting there eating breakfast right outside my window. And the morning doves are signs of peace. And um, I'd say with today's news of the next to last Pope resigning, uh, Pope Benedict the 16th, um, and it's he's going to be resigning on February 28th. Remember me discussing Carl Boudreaux's uh, uh, astrology report for February, where he says the 18th through the 28th are going to be huge shifts all over the planet. And the Mayans and Drinvalo say it's uh, there's going to be a huge shift about the 19th of February. And my message is from... My higher self or Archangel Michael, however you wish to choose it. <laughs> and I'm only a fragment. I'm not just him. We all are. <laughs> We're all fragments of him and all the other archangels. That's what gives us our characteristics. We're each one of us are like a um, ingredients that goes into soup that makes up the the personalities that we are while we're here. And, and not just while we're here, of all times. But anyway, um, my message three and a half years ago now um, was that February 22nd of 2013, we'd see a big shift right around that time, if not at that time. And the Pope is resigning on the 28th. And, of course, the, uh, the prophecies from the Middle Ages about the Popes from... Saint Malachi, um, they tell of all the popes leading up to the final one and what we can experience from those popes and, um, and what we will experience during the reign of the last pope. And the last pope is not necessarily a very good one if you're looking from one side of it. And many of us feel that it's uh, an Illuminati puppet, and, you know, that's what a lot of them have been. And the good guys tend to get assassinated. So, <laughs> so it's interesting what's what's going on right now. And I have to say that the prophecy that aligns with this is um, this Pope brings, hmm, is a part of a group that's forcing the end times prophecies and the war scenario with Armageddon. I wouldn't have any fear over it. I mean, we're, you know, those of us that uh, know we're here for the end times are here to witness it. And so this is pretty cool that it's happening. There's a lot of us that's been telling everybody for a long time that it has begun, that we're in the end times, that revelation is actually occurring in front of us. And, Boy, is, uh, <laughs> is this uh, one of those big signs. It, it really is happening. We're coming up to the very end of the Bible when it gets closed and there's no more religion. But it's not just the Bible. It's all the holy books. We're all, we're, they're all finishing out right now. Now, the prophecy um, states that uh, when this last pope comes to reign that uh, Rome will be utterly destroyed. And it looks like um, uh, it looks like a blast or war. And, of course, the Illuminati have made movies about this. What was that Tom Hanks movie, I think it was, about, you know, about exactly this. But it does not mean these things have to happen as the, the visions go. And... I wish to state this very clearly about my visions about being a part of 
the Revelations um, 9 Biblical Bottomless Pit, BP's Biblical Bottomless Pit. Um, that's also the Hopi seventh sign. That's what it ended up becoming, the Hopi seventh sign. But my vision when I was a child was that a nuclear weapon would be set off down where Saddam Hussein had lit the oil fires in 1991 and it would blast a hole in the earth's crust down to where the oil is which is very very shallow and um it would continue to burn forever well in the vision that i was given as a child which you know i've discussed those visions i've had and said we've altered them and that i saw a very positive timeline i saw a very uh negative timeline and it seems like we're hitting the upper end of the road of the middle road. Um, and, and even into the, the, the lower, more positive timelines with everybody waking up right now and everybody going through their ascension process and activating their chakras and all that. And so I want to very clearly state here, guys, that as long as you know the prophecies of the dark side and you hold the highest light with the intent to change those prophecies and make it something different that we can and um rather than rome being destroyed by a nuclear weapon and there's nostradamus prophecies it's not just rome either paris or london will also have this happen um and many of us started getting the messages that that could have been during the London Olympics in 2012. It did not happen. I believe that we could absolutely shift this prophecy, just like we did the biblical bottomless pit. Um, and it's all we have to do is be aware of what's going on and hold the highest light by enlightening enlightening ourselves to the maximum potential we possibly can holding the highest light holding the divine thought the vision and invoking it speaking it forth and feeling as we totally change it now here's what i have to say about this uh if you know the vision that so many have had and that is written in prophecy is about the destruction of the the seven hilled city or Rome, and it looks like it's an absolute utter destruction. Let's change it into the collapse of religion, the collapse of the Catholic rule on the majority of the planet. <laughs> now, I find it interesting that um, this particular Pope, Benedict, that's going out last week, made a deal with Israel to have a seat in the same. A uh, place where the Last Supper was held, and then within a week he resigns. So he is setting it up for the next pope to the last pope to do this, the dark pope to do this. Now that's going to be really, 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 really interesting. And all the biblical prophecies are coming into alignment right now. Now my question really becomes um are these guys pushing that these prophecies come into alignment remember you know the government and the ets that are here uh there are time travel capabilities i even discussed that in my last video <laughs> many of us are here from the future to change the present <laughs> And so, you know, as we're empowering ourselves, as we are waking up to the light, as we're seeing it all unfold, we can change the prophecies. We can change the darkness of the prophecies. It doesn't have to be that way. And remember that each one of us who activate, um, when you activate your chakra, your heart chakra, that empowerment, that electromagnetic torrid, that surrounds you, that new field of attraction, of magnetics that you create and you can use as a tool, um, 
for putting to the field that which you wish to create manifest, each and every one of us that do this, we, we can counteract tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions, depending on how expanded your light quotient is within your field and how high your frequency is, we can alter and offset multitudes of persons that are holding the negative intent. So many of the religions are sitting here waiting for the world to be destroyed at Armageddon and Jesus is coming back to save us. No, that's not happening. The Christ is those of us that's activated our heart chakras, that has shifted our consciousness from the duality of the brain back into the wholeness, the oneness, the Christ consciousness of the heart. That's what this time is all about. That's why we had 144,000 people activating their heart chakras by Venus Transit last year. And we are shifting the prophecies. It doesn't have to be dark, and it's not dark to me. It doesn't bother me a bit. I think it's really cool to look at it and go, wow, that's pretty intense. And uh, to see what all is going on. And... Um, it is pretty amazing to be here at this time. Now, we also need to keep focus uh, about bringing down the financial system, you know, of the out from the Illuminati control, out from um, Rome, out from London, out from Washington, the three city-states controlling the planet. And that is what all this prophecy is all about. It is up to those of us who are activated now to hold the vision, to hold that thought, to hold the energies for the shift. Personally, what New Earth looks like, I don't necessarily myself hold a vision for anything but a magical fifth dimensional Earth with all limitations and all perceptions removed. That is my vision. What it looks like, it could be different hour to hour, moment by moment, day to day, month by month, for the next 26,000 years and beyond. So, you know, I don't look at seeing new earth in a linear fashion like many people do. I see humanity expanding in all directions as my focused intent for myself is. But that also depends on each and every person's own individual experience also. <laughs> so many persons are holding vision for a new earth, the tangible earth that we walk around in. And um, they're keeping that vision of what they would like to see. Me, I just desire to make it as magical and limitless and... and um, dreamlike as it can possibly be, where we can have instant manifestation of anything and everything we so desire. Back to what's going on with the Pope. Patricia Cotus Robles at eraofpeace.org. Um, many of you guys might know Patricia's work, and her work is always phenomenal. Just last week, she posted in her newsletter that she's putting together a gathering to go to Italy for ceremony to hold the light here in the next few months. And um, she's being called to put it together for anybody who wants to participate. And uh, what an amazing thing, an amazing time to be involved in. Go to eraofpeace.org and look up Patricia Cotas Robles. Uh, information on this trip, this gathering that she's putting together. Wow, wow, wow. So we went from a lull to a very increased state of activity today. And I'm telling you, people, it's not over. It's only just beginning. You give it another week from right now, and this world is going to be a rocking. <laughs> anyway, I'm... Um, <laughs> I'm just beside myself. Love you all. Bye for now, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. The Pope resigned. <laughs> <laughs>